And I am here with some incredible vehicles because we are talking about this Sunday in Excelsior where you can get an up close look at dozens of vintage cars, boats, motorcycles. Very neat event here to tell us about the 10,000 Lakes Concours d'Elegance. I said Excellent. that right, you didn't did. I? Okay. Perfectly. This is Jay Marie Fieger here to tell us all about it. What an event. Tell us oh, about it. We're in our seventh year of celebrating automotive history. It truly is on the show field. A beautiful day by the lake. We'll have great food, great wine, lots of live music and entertainment, a kids area. And the stars of our show are really these cars, these boats, these motorcycles, and these owners who have put their heart and soul into keeping them restored as original as possible. I mean, you said these are mostly one, two, three of a kind. There are many of them that you would never ever see anywhere else. They travel for many, many miles. Mm -hmm. It's really a spectacular opportunity to see automotive history and the history of bikes first in the first hand person and you can talk to the owners and hear the stories behind each one. Well, speaking of, let's do some of that because these are museum quality. We're so lucky to have them here at CARE 11. Uh, this car, sir, what do we have here? This is a 1929 Packard Phaeton. Ooh, and is that pretty rare, I'm imagining? Pretty rare car. It's a pretty good sized car for 1929 with a straight eight. So it's, it's a fast car. Fast car, straight eight, 1929. This looks even older to me, sir. What do you have here? This is a 1912 uh, Model T Ford Touring. That's my wife, Sherry, Jim, we're from Maple Grove. I love it, the Model T, that is classic. We have some classic muscle cars here, right? Race cars. Race cars, right, yes. What do you have? It's a 1954 Austin Healey with a Le Mans kit. Woo, that is gorgeous. And this is the Camaro, right? classic yes. Camaro. Yes, this is a 1968 Rally Sport Super Sport convertible. So it's really two cars in one. They didn't very often put those two combinations together. And the car came from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, and it didn't have air conditioning. <laughs> oh, it does wow. All right, now it does. They've modernized it a little bit. We have a gorgeous boat here, you can see. And take a, it is being pulled I look at this car, look at the fins on that. That's impressive. What do you have? I have a 1961 uh, Imperial Crown and it's pulling a 1957 Thunderhawk uh, with the 50 horse Johnson Super Seahorse on it. Ooh, gorgeous, gorgeous. And let's move on over here. We, we're gonna power through here. We got just a few left to look at. I can't believe how many people turned out to bring these here. It's that really needed. special. Yeah, very special. What do you have here? We have a 1930 Model A Ford. Uh, the engine was assembled in November of 1929 and the body uh, in March of 1930. Whew. So it's a fun car. Uh, very, very fun. And finally, one of a kind here, right? Or one of a kind boat. You have a motorcycle. What is this? This is a 1975 Honda. It's one that I sold just 30 years later. Oh, wow. And, and this here, so we're running out of time, but the one of a kind boat you brought to show us. 1905. New a York nine... Boat Works originally sent to the Lachino Islands in Michigan, originally named a Really incredible stuff here. If you got a taste of it here, you can see more in Excelsior this weekend. For all of the details, you can uh, go to our app and uh, look at what was on TV and get all of the details about heading to the event this weekend.